Whoa, guys, I didn't know Mario from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games had his own spin-off games. <laughs> I'm hella dumb, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, boys, back at it again. This time with the fresh cut. Woo! <laughs> Y'all don't give a fuck. Shut up, biatch! Also been hitting the gym recently. And by recently, I mean, I was there three days ago doing leg days. And my everything hurts, so... <laughs> I'm really sore and fucking tired. And I'm sitting down. And I won't be getting back up. So anyways, Mario! I finally got around to playing it. And, um... It's a game. The game's not that bad. The problem with it is that, um... It's basically the first new Super Mario Bros, just with a new uh, coat of paint. And I've been playing new Super Mario Bros, the DS version, the Wii version, and the Wii U version. Even though I don't have a Wii U. I played it on my cousin's system. And uh, it's nothing new. <laughs> I tried challenging myself by playing as the different characters. If you don't know, the um, you can play as Peach, Toad, Mario, and Luigi. You can switch th um, throughout the players throughout each level. And, um, but I mostly played as Luigi because I love Luigi. Ha! What are you choosing Luigi for? He's crap! <laughs> Each of the characters have their own strengths and weaknesses. Like, Mario's pretty standard, but, and the most easy to control. But Luigi has higher jump, Toad can run faster, and. Yes, and Princess Peach, bitch, Peach, bitch! Can float. And another problem is, uh, the levels are too short. Um, you're gonna breeze right through this game if you don't, you know, put your own challenges. And by that I mean collect all the stamps, the stars, and try to get the, the flags. Um, and the only reason you need to, you, you would ever want to do that if you want to get to the bonus level. The bonus bonus levels, because there is a bonus world after you beat the main story. And if you want to go to the final level thing, you have to collect all those things. And I didn't fucking do that. <laughs> I mean, I might do it, but I, it's such a chore. I don't want to do it. <laughs> they couldn't have kept it as collect all the stars. No, they have to like be hella extra and and even do the, um, the flag thing, which is... I think that's kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't find that challenging. I just find that very redundant and tedious, in my opinion. I don't. I don't know how y'all feel about that. Um, yeah, that's the only way to get a challenge out of this game. But besides that, it's very easy. If you just play it normally, you're gonna get through this fucking game. I mean, yeah, you do have to collect some amount of stars, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna do that naturally or whatever. I mean, it's not all bad though. I, the art style is very pretty. I like the graphics. And, um, this game might have my new favorite power-up, like, the cat suit. Unlike James Corden, I, Mario's really rocking the, surprisingly rocking the big pussy suit. <laughs> uh, this game is alright. It's not good or fantastic. Uh, I think Odyssey takes a cake in that. The only reason I recommend it, if you already played the shit out of Odyssey and you're fucking bored, and right now there's... Uh, a Mario dry spill right now so yeah that's the only way I'd recommend buying this game oh I didn't talk about the Bowser's Fury DLC cause I don't freaking care about it <laughs> anyways thanks for watching like and subscribe